warmer water will develop faster than co ice cold water, especially the back of the building. Um, winter time, this water would be ice cold and it'll take longer to develop. And we do uh, a lot of specialty printing with high density and real thick stencils. And those thick stencils, you got to have warm water to get them to, to uh, develop. So we just wet the back side. Wet the front side and give it just a second. And this is why I'm maybe coating or I'm getting another screen ready to put on the eye image and I can come back and, and develop it out. It won't take long because this is a 166. So once it's nice and soft, let's see here. I gotta remember how I turn on, there it is. We'd hit our pressure washer and a lot of people are scared to death to hit pressure washer on their stencils because they're fragile. If you got a good stencil, you can use a pressure washer. Now you don't wanna jump up on it a couple inches away, but if you stay back here, Turn off pressure washer. So the way we evaluate whether we're fully developed is we look at our grayscale up here and we determine that we've washed all of our 5%, most of the three, a little bit of the one, and then we look at the top and we've got the 90% is still on. So that means we've got a good exposure and we're fully developed. So you can see some half tones in here. It's really hard to tell did we get everything or not? And that's why we run the grayscale so that we can we can tell that we've got everything from one to three percent all the way up to ninety, which may indicates we probably got that in the image as well. I'll flip this over so you can see a little bit bigger part of the image. This is a left chest full back, and you can see it here the same. So here's a eye image hack. We start throwing these lines on the ends of our images. Again, with water base, it wouldn't make sense because we're just creating a hole that they're gonna break through. But for a plastisol work, it's an inkjet. So it, it carries off to one side and the other. And if you're not real careful, if you've got a real hard edge on your art, then you can get some satellite dots and some stuff kind of flying off the edge. This way it resets itself and starts over. Um, this particular image wouldn't have been a problem because it's right in the center, but it ultimately will, we'll start over and you get nice clean edges if um, if that can be a concern. A lot of people, you know, we're, we're always working so hard on getting almost perfect screens because that changes when you get on press, then everything else kind of comes together.